Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart, and you're coming across this error in Windows 11. This is often associated with the inaccessible boot device error as well. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, about how to resolve this problem. And again, it'll probably say your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info, and then we'll restart for you. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to get into the Troubleshooter menu. So a couple different ways. If you are able to boot into Windows, you will open up the Start menu, and then hold down the Shift key while selecting the Restart option. If you right-click on the Start button and then select the Shut Down or Sign Out, I believe there would be an option to Restart. So hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, and then Restart your device. Alternatively, if you do a hard power off three times in a row, meaning if you let the computer begin to turn on, and then you press the power button down to shut it off prematurely, it should also launch you into this utility as well. So again, you would let it boot up past the BIOS a little bit, and then you would attempt to power off. And then finally, you can also use the media creation utility on Microsoft's website, burn Windows to an ISO file, and then during one of the early prompts in the installation process of Windows, where it says install now. In the bottom left corner of that window, it says repair your computer or repair my PC, and that will launch the similar utility that you're seeing here. So anyway, once you're here, you're going to select troubleshoot, reset your PC, or see advanced options. And then you're going to select advanced options. So you have a lot of options here, I'm to be completely frank. First thing I'd recommend doing would be to check system restore. So if you have any restore points saved in your computer, I'd recommend restoring back to the most recently created one. So if that was unable to help you guys out, something else I recommend trying here would be to select command prompt and then type in SFC followed by space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard to begin the scan. This will take a little bit of time to run, so please be patient. And once that's done, close out of here. Select Troubleshoot again, and then Advanced Options. So there's a lot of options to go through, honestly. And you can also select Uninstall Updates. And if you want to just go back to the most recently created updates, you can just select Uninstall Latest Quality Updates. Or if you want to uninstall major updates to Windows 11, you would select Uninstall Latest Feature Update, and then see if that would resolve the problem as well. It's something you definitely want to consider. And you can also, if you have a recovery image saved to a DVD or CD, you can select this option down here. And if you want to go into safe mode, you can select startup settings, and then when the computer restarts, there'd be an option to enter safe mode with networking, which you're welcome to select. And then also what we're going to end the video with here would be startup repair. Fix problems to keep Windows from loading, so go ahead and select that. On the troubleshoot screen, one of the first ones, there was an option to reset this PC. I don't really want to put too much focus on that for today's tutorial because that's basically just a factory reinstall of Windows 11. Even the option to keep your files, generally it's going to still remove the apps and it's pretty much a clean install, but not, not really, but it still in many ways is. I mean, it just depends on your viewpoint of how you define a reset. And, you know, you'll see people interchangeably use the words as well. So, anyway, I did try to start up repair here too. You know, what a surprise, it couldn't repair your PC. But in your case, it very well might. I'm not having sort of problems, so that could definitely be a part of the reason why it's not able to repair anything, because nothing is wrong. So, going back into advanced options takes us back to that main menu here. And I'm just going to continue into, it says Windows 10. It just hasn't been updated yet for Windows 11 because we are about to boot into Windows 11 here. But hopefully this is a pretty straightforward tutorial. I went over a few of the big highlights. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.